Hi everyone, welcome back to SAT 021. In this lesson, we are going to talk about complex numbers. So let's see the definition of complex numbers first. So i is the imaginary unit, and then i squared equals negative 1. So i equals the square root of negative 1. And then we can compute several values, so i to the power of 1, and that is i itself. And i squared, as we know from the definition, is negative 1. And i cubed, we can write as i squared times i. So that is negative 1 times i, which is negative i. And i to the power of 4, we can write as i squared times i squared. So that is negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1. So let's think about one question. How to find a value of i to the power of n if n is a natural number. So we can move on to compute four more values. So i to the power of 5, we can write as i to the power of 4 times i. So as we know that i to the power of 4 equals 1, so that is i. And i to the power of 6, we can write as i to the power of 4 times i squared. And that is still 1 times i squared. That is 1 times negative 1, and that equals negative 1. And i to the power of 7, that is i to the power of 4 times i cubed, which is 1 times negative i, and that is negative i. And i to the power of 8, we can write as i to the power of 4 times i to the power of 4. And that is 1 times 1, which equals 1. So let's see the results to find some pattern. So we may notice that the result repeats every four terms. So actually the period is four. So when we try to compute the value of i to the power of n, we can divide n by four and then see the remainder. So if the remainder is one, then i to the power of n equals i to the power of one, which is i. And if the remainder is two, i to the power of n equals i squared, and that equals negative 1. And if the remainder is 3, then i to the power of n equals i cubed, which is negative i. And if, it, if there is no remainder, then i to the power of n equals i to the power of 4, which is 1. So let's do one practice here. So which one of the following is i to the power of 153? So the first step, we have to divide 153 by 4. And then we can see the remainder is 1. So i to the power of 153 equals i to the power of 1, and that is i. So the correct answer is a. So every complex number can be expressed in a form of a plus bi, where a is called the real part, and b is the imaginary part. And if we keep the same real part a, and we take the opposite imaginary part, then the complex number becomes to a minus bi. And that is the conjugate. So the conjugate of a plus bi is a minus bi. So we may do some basic calculations for complex numbers. First, let's see addition and subtraction. So we just add and subtract the real part and, and the imaginary part respectively. For example, if we have 4 plus 5i minus 7 minus 3i, we may open the bracket first. So that becomes to 4 plus 5i minus 7 plus 3i. And then we gather the real part and the imaginary part. So that becomes to 4 minus 7 plus 5i plus 3i. So that is negative 3 plus 8i. Then let's move on to multiplication. So when we're doing the multiplication for two complex numbers, we just use the distributive law. For example, if we have 3 plus 4i times 2 minus 5i, we can apply the distributive law. 
So 3 times 2 minus 3 times 5i plus 4i times 2 minus 4i times 5i. And that is 6 minus 15i plus 8i minus 20i squared. And then that is 6 minus 7i minus 20 times negative 1, which is 6 minus 7i plus 20, and that is 26 minus 7i. And now let's do the division. So division, we usually write the complex numbers in fraction form. So what we do is called rationalize the denominator. Suppose we have two complex numbers, 2 plus 3i and 4 minus 5i, and we write them as a fractional form. So what we do is we rationalize the denominator. So the first step is we have to find the conjugate of the denominator. So the denominator is 4 minus 5i, and the conjugate of 4 minus 5i is 4 plus 5i. And then the second step is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. So we times 4 plus 5i to both the numerator and the denominator. Step 3, simplify both the numerator and the denominator. So we open a bracket, and the numerator becomes to 8 plus 10i plus 12i plus 15i squared. And the denominator becomes to 16 minus 25i squared. And that becomes to 8 plus 22i minus 15 over 16 plus 25. And that is negative 7 plus 22i over 41. So we can see the final result. There is no i in the denominator. So we already complete the rationalization of the denominator. Now let's do one practice. Simplify 3 minus 2i over 4 plus i to a form of a plus bi, and then find the value of a plus b. So the first step, we have to find the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of 4 plus i is 4 minus i. And then we can times both the numerator and the denominator by 4 minus i. And then we can open the bracket it becomes to 12 minus 3i minus 8i plus 2i squared over 16 minus i squared. And then we can combine the like terms and calculate the i squared. So that becomes to 12 minus 11i minus 2 over 16 plus 1. And that is 10 minus 11i over 17, and which is 10 over 17 minus 11 over 17i. So our a is 10 over 17, and b is negative 11 over 17. So a plus b is 10 over 17 plus negative 11 over 17, which is negative 1 over 17. And that's the end of this lesson. Goodbye.